Okay, guys, for today's Trotitude, I bring you the Autism Nature Trail, which is a pretty cool thing. It's at the Humphrey Nature Center. And am I autistic? Mm, I don't know if I'm on the spectrum of that, but I definitely have obsessive compulsive disorder. So, well, I thought I would make this video um, actually as a shout out, not for help with autism, but if there are any mortgage brokers that happen to be watching this channel, because I'm going to get into California mortgage fraud, which I don't understand, I I completely, oh, let's go on to the, let's go on this way. Let's go on to the autism travel. It feels a little safer. Oh no, actually, let's sit on this bench here. The Humphreys are. And then, I'm going to put this out there because, like I said, this channel is about facts, evidence, things like that. But because I have so much evidence and I don't know exactly how it all ferreted out of them, my money's been stolen and there's been a whole lot of fraud. The tale of the changing forest. Well, let's see. Let's start with some things that never change. Oh, my, oh, my. Ah, my wondrous mother. Ah, oh, yes, the one who said she wanted me to throw away my binders. Hmm. Every time your mother tells you to throw away your binders, there's probably incriminating evidence in these binders. So let's start with, hmm, what shall we start with? Well, let's start how it all started with a divorce in California. Uh oh. Finding the Hells Angels Grow House was a little later. Um, actually, I think I wrote that to Mr. Doty for reasons that will become abundantly clear. I will no longer be doing anything through the law offices of William B. Doty. That's how you end up in federal court. Yeah. Uh, Michael's continued negotiations forward with Vice, Mortgage, Onyx, hmm, Xanadu. These multiple things that turned into be quite the fraud scheme that seems that Mr. Doty was helpful on. But as we know, we've got a December tax deadline in New York, so let's see what was going on December 2006 before we got the wondrous John R. Perlman in our life in 2007. We've always had Billy Bullets since 2001, since 10 things were transferred to community property. This being among ah, the most troublesome, the one to which I I did actually write the general counsel in New York, and I will give you evidence of that. But in case the general counsel in New York is unaware of things in California, once you put money, commingle it, you see all together in a trust, 10 things, including the New York money, and then you're doing mortgage schemes, technically, you're part of the racket. Um, I, on the other hand, go to the feds and do the right thing. Where does that end me up? Mm. 89 wondrous days in Sonoma County Jail being caught from title fraudster, which may be curious about this thing because I don't know how to do title fraud, but if there's a mortgage broker watching this, please help me. Um, okay, so this is the end of the Doty relationship. I meant to dictate this letter last week. It's been hectic. It is unknown whether Michael will go for the vice deal, especially being the obvious pitfalls. The sales price is going to be $760,000 on paper, and the original asking price was five sixty. dollars Do we not remember to the housing crisis, this man, this William B. Doty, is still a practicing judge pro tem in Sonoma County. So that's what power money does. It looks the other way, and it actually sees mortgage fraud and doesn't do a damn thing about it. But let's go along. Okay, let's see. I have repeatedly indicated that I'm not in a position to give any legal advice. You're a lawyer, Daniel, and you're a judge pro tem. If you can't give legal advice, why are you there? Okay, my practice is sick to just family law. Yeah, he, we've got him taking money, so I guess he, interesting family. I indicated it does not feel right. The Michael's in desperate straits. <laughs> Sometimes when people are desperate, they do things they re regret in the long run. Oh my God, can this man ever have a regret, Michael, for the long run? It is, um, 
his real estate license, not to mention the financial implication if the lender gets burned on the property. Michael's indicated that he's spoken to numerous individuals and they've indicated the buyer behind the scenes is reputable. He's come through on many transactions. That's because the buyer was Investors Trust Mortgage, Harry Coffey. We'll get into the evidence on that one soon enough. Shannon's going to review the paperwork with Rob Disharoon. That's when Rob Disharoon said, you're going to a judge for him and you're not represented. Got good counsel. Thank you. So that's why I left. Let's see. My understanding is Shannon will be signing that. Your understanding was wrong. I didn't. Shannon will definitely make steps, um, yeah, to move out of her own family residence. Oh, my God. Any day now, Michael specs bonus. Oh, my goodness. He'll split that money immediately 50-50. Yeah, that's why Zoe ended up malnourished in Oregon because Michael was splitting money 50-50. Mm, probably not. Now, here's where we get into the title drunk. And if anyone is a mortgage person, please help me because people accuse me of title frauds, particularly my father, the narcissist. When narcissists make accusations, usually it's because they've done that. So this had to be signed off by a county clerk because I would not cooperate. I said I refused to sign something that was mortgage fraud. That's why you'll see it is signed by the county clerk. Um, Alliance title, Market Street, all of the benefits. Um, okay. I don't understand this, but anybody that has help because knows about mortgage fraud Help, help, I don't understand what happened. How did this happen? Well, I have some idea how it happened because the money was going to Joanne Kambai, attorney for Michael and Shannon Pollock. Now, she is Michael Pollock's divorce attorney. She's not the attorney for Michael and Shannon Pollock. So I guess that's two attorneys, two, two, now that have taken money. Okay. The order the court got signed, yes, because I refused. Why would I refuse to sign an order of a court? Well, let's see. Because as I told the judge, I do not like to sign off on things that I know to be mortgage fraud. And eventually, wind out his identity test. But yeah, because as I told the judge, Michael put on the residential application his correct birthday. My birthday that is wrong, that the 1st of October seems to have shown up on my license in New York, almost like a banker messed with it. And this is the worst of all. The judge, Michael, his attorney, that is not my social security number. So now we've basically created a false identity and Shannon ends up with problems in New York with, yes, I had took me two years to straighten out that I was not born October 1st. I'm born October 19th. Hey, I married a banker oh, from New York. That is the problem. But let's get back to mortgage fraud because I really need help for any anybody that understands this stuff. Okay. Because here's where it's weird to me. Okay. The seller now becomes Michael Falk. Apparently... Now he's the seller, taking me, what, extra 200000 doing what with it? I don't know. Well, the IRS requires the gross price. Lying again, I suppose. And this is the part that is on the federal deposition on a universal commercial thing because, blah, blah, blah. It's not my signature. So, anyone that knows anything about Novastar, Investors Trust Mortgage, particularly Harry Coffey, that would be wonderful. You can look at my other wondrous uh, videos. Well, actually, you don't have to look at my video. Michael was deposed about these very things. Um, but what always gets interesting to me is the part where the borrow certification. All right, again, fraud. Investors Trust Mortgage, a corporation? So what is my recompense against them. The occupancy agreement is a lie. It was not owner-occupied, obviously. Again, fraud, notary, not fraud, notary, fraud. 
signature, that's not my signature. But my father always accuses me of title insurance. I don't know how to do title insurance fraud, not title insurance. Um, I know how to get car insurance. I don't know how to do title insurance. But this is where it always got interesting. Michael paid policies with Allstate, and then he would cash them out in just his name. And, interestingly enough, he put his name with my social, my name with his social, saying that I work for computer software sales. I'm a writer, cliff jumper, and a lot of things that don't do computer software sales. It sounds kind of like my brother. Um, oh, and Michael is creative property service, a realtor for 13 years. So, 2004, so like, yeah, that's not the Dubai. You were a realtor since the day I met you. Well, you were a loan guy. So he's got the prepayments for this and then the adding the accessible parcel number. And then I will show you eventually what it becomes because this has always driven me nuts. Like how they get away with this junk, I don't know. It just it drives me crazy. He gets loan more loans on this thing for four hundred thousand dollars. Um, and then any mortgage people, please help me because HUD addendums, again, not my signature, don't know what these things are. Um, but what I do know that I always thought was weird was before things got completely nutty, Michael was doing this where short form deeds of trust for American security company is the trustee and the beneficiary is Wells Fargo. How's that work? I don't know. And then, of course, you need someone my father knows to help you out. So, it's notarized by a man named Bob Tognetti. Name I know. He worked for Bullets Designs. So that's when you go, this is looking like a racket when you add up that John R. Perlman seems to also be signing off for Michael Falk in New York after all of this because how does this shit show in? Let me tell you something. It wasn't fun. It ends with, well, this is not news to Mr. Thomas Kleinberger, right? Because I wrote to him October 2023. As I briefly mentioned in our meeting, it was another piece of community property that wound me up in the seven. Seeing Michael's name in mind is always triggering. In the world of complex trauma, triggering means freaks you out. So yeah, anytime I see that, like still, as, oh, oh, well, God, oh, husband and wife, ooh. But no, so this went to Mr. Thomas Kleinberger because I figured maybe he needed a heads up that this been going on for a minute. Like, right, Thomas Kleinberger? You're a lawyer. You're a corporate lawyer in New York. You are aware of this. You are aware. And I sent you this. This is Exhibit A. It's attached to your email. And I said, that property is what wound me up into a lot of trouble. Particularly when I went down to see what was in the mailbox of our community property. Oh, no. It's a SunTrust mortgage. <laughs> With who? But Raymond, Michael, folks. And as I told you, Mr. Kleinberger, I only tell the truth to the feds because I don't like motorcycle gangs. I don't like people that act like that, entitled. And I kind of had problems for me in my federal case because Chandler did question Michael. And then he wanted an accounting for the case. Uh, here's where you run into real big problems. Yeah. Bill, Billy doesn't seem to mention this at all. He, it's always his daughter's the problem. His daughter's this terrible criminal. I would say no. Let's see. This is from Mr. David Chandler. Um, the actual purchase of the Moon Road, Scott Derricott, um, Mr. promptly transferred the property to Raymond Michael Folks. Oh, at each transfer, the mortgage increased. And the sale being $820,000. Didn't we get into that earlier about the enlarging price? 
Onyx and Xanadu have non-active websites. Laguna Road was sold and proceeds held at Joanne Bertram. That's Joanne Campoy. She became, I used to call her Bertram because she got married to a Bertram. But that's the person masquerading as Shannon and Michael Falk's attorney. She was Michael Falk's lover and then his real estate assistant and then his attorney. And yes, the proceeds wound up in her singular account. The Laguna parcel sold and the proceeds were held in the Bertram Trust. Court opined that I am not trustworthy to hold the funds. No, because when your father's telling everyone you're a horrible person, that's what can happen. Holding the funds is not important. Yeah, that's right. Getting the accounting would be important. They wanted Lehman and Lehman for the adversary proceeding. My interest in the community trusts and the New York partnerships collected by Michael Fogg for the last two years is more than sufficient to satisfy all the claims of the case. So this was in 2008. Everything could have been settled in 2008. Why the hell would you drag it out? Well, I guess, because what, you couldn't get the Markham accounting in New York correct? Ah, or then you get the second ass clown who's taking more advantage of this fact. He knows that Michael is a criminal. He also happens to know that Zoe has been sexually abused. And what does Merle do? Take advantage of it. Um, the, oh, those the Michael goodnight things that are awful. Uh, but uh, I think after the awful Michael fall, there's like... Um, Bill Willits is saying what a wonderful father he is because Zoe gets to eat food at his house while she's being fondled after dinner. This is despicable. You people are, isn't this like, is this sex trafficking? I don't know. Well, let's get into what Thomas Kleinberger didn't want to go into in New York. <laughs> we'll, we'll just read it because Mr. Thomas Kleinberger will not provide to me no, he won't. The objections, the hearing, the 28-page declaratory relief, the injunctive relief. The, my favorite is the schedules from Adams and Company. He doesn't want to give me the 48 pages of summaries of schedules. And he surely has not provided me a 22-page general real estate partnership agreement, let alone all the other stuff. But let's... Let's read what Merle was getting on Michael in 2012 so that he could get more money out of New York and Dilly was bribing people. Let's, let's read about Michael, eh? Oh, well, actually, should we? Maybe we should start from his 2007 deposition just to establish that Michael apparently, well, my family calls me a uh, criminal and many other things. Kind of interesting. Because 2007, um, we weren't talking about that. We were talking about mineral ride interests. I could pay attention to the financials until we got up to, you know, Wells Fargo's and Adams Expressing and these things. This was when I about lost it. Um, what was this date? September 12th. Isn't that right after September 11th? It's like a building crumbling on you. This question, uh, Miss, Mr. Falk, uh, Raymond Michael folks, 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 have you ever heard that name? Answer, I have not. That, that's Michael's answer. I'm not being deposed, Michael is. When's the last time you had anything to do with the property? Um, at the close of escrow, when he took what? So how many hundreds of thousands of extra dollars? But here's where you just, you phase out the money because when this question gets asked and you don't know who you married till you're getting a divorce or actually in federal court, it's a little terrifying. Um, have you ever had anything to do with the cultivation of controlled substance? I have not. Cocaine? They asked Michael that. What's his answer? I refuse to answer that on the grounds that it might incriminate myself. Um, yeah, you think? Y yeah. I didn't know until after my divorce. Apparently, a lot of people told me. Mr. Falk was the largest cocaine trafficker in Sonoma County. So what else do billionaire bankers have to do with their money? But 
become cocaine traffickers. And then dick around with their income in New York. Well, yeah, let's see. All along these proceedings, income in New York has become my sole and separate property of support. Well, I understand your characterization. Um, what happened to the partnerships? What do you mean? Who's collected? I have. That's Michael's answer. Have you given any to Shannon? I have, in the form of support. Oh, you're giving $969 a month. Wow. And didn't we establish the, they're getting three, no, not three million, seven and eight million dollars a year. And wow, that was nice of you. How wondrous of you. Oh, God. To just give a chance and just, you know, you've got to pay her something. The 969, which he stopped doing anyway, after his, I believe he called it his inheritance being impounded and all that. Oh, here we are back to the Alliance title. Let's see, Mr. Chandler. The sale of Laguna Price, a statement, 400000 You purchased it for no. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, that's a refi. Did you sell it for six hundred? It did. Are you aware it recently sold for eight hundred and fifty? Didn't we establish that he was quite aware of that because he collected that with Jerry and Bertram and then we've got the help of of course John L. Perlman in New York, which we've done videos on him. But let's let's get into Myers Law Group, my next attorney, because when you cannot get an accounting from New York you end up with freaking Mel Myers, who gets all this information on everybody and sees how he can benefit himself. So, January 18th, 2012. This would be after Merle has subpoenaed all of the 434 pages from Fidelity Chattel to see multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars. We go directly to Michael Falk through OMB Daddy. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, <laughs> yeah, and then, oh, then, then he had, this is also after he flew to New York and wanted the general partnerships for New York, which Thomas Kleinberger refuses to hand over, and in some world, you're going to hand it over, dude, because your guy, Mr. Perlman, he's a fraudster, so the accountant's coming out one way or another. So is the truth. Here we go. Let's see. So, do you ever turn over any accounts uh, you received in New York? Six? Ever? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. When did you do that? When papers is fine, I started giving her 100% of the income from all of it. Before the funds distributed to you, did you turn those amounts over to Shannon? Mm, as far as I know, well, yeah, then I don't think I would be living without plumbing, having to boil water in a fireplace to give the uh, camp stove, dealing with her so traumatized from the sex abuse. She was crying and didn't want to go to school on Mondays because you've traumatized the hell out of a kid because you are a pedo. Okay. We don't... Merle wasn't that. wasn't judgmental. He just wants to know about money. That's what Merle's thing over. Okay. Let's see. And anyone can look at this because this is my deposition paid for. I mean, Mr. Kleinberger kept saying he was spending your money. No, Mr. Kleinberger, he was spending your money, your your metal money, the money that's commingled in this mess, which seems to have uh, unwound. Didn't I, did I not include the indictment of the, the eventual indictment that the Hells Angels would? We should get into that, shouldn't we? I mean... I think that's rather important that, you know, eventually things do. Yeah. Okay, after I leave Doty and after all this. And Merle, by the way, could have made this go much quicker if he'd just turned over the things to the feds like Chandler or perhaps not allowed the line of John R. Perlman. He declares under the penalty of perjury in California. Um... And he's in Atlanta, Georgia. Didn't you establish that there's property in New York that you lied about also? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. Oh, there. So, yeah, so Merle subpoenas, like I said, Evans facts, 434 pages from Fidelity. Still have that. Uh-oh. He did get arrested eventually. Oh, 
he was actually indicted um, as a racketeer thing. Um, October 10th, 2017. Didn't know this till I came to New York, but figured they, the feds always said, well, their condolences to me were, well, we're not going to use your name. I'm like, well, Michael knows my name, and this is a violent motorcycle gang. But yes, overt acts. So part of the case of the Hells Angels, well, you know, John R. Perlman wouldn't want to have anything but love for Hells Angels and his little Angel Michael, right? Yeah. Well, these guys are doing like violent acts. I mean, that's just so scary. Okay. Um, July. Um, when did I? Where's that mortgage document? I think that was July. Um, SunTrust Mortgage, the one that I gave the feds that, yeah, mortgage fraud. Because the Hells Angels have a pact in their game. Yeah, along with being a, it's in, it's in the indictment. Anyone can read it. It's unsealed. Um, yes. Uh, part of their gang pact is they must commit, um, to, uh, along with violent acts, they must commit two acts of mortgage fraud and who but to help them. Oh, well, we got wonders, Michael Falk. Um, and this was what was scary. Raymond Michael Fogues. Knowing me attempted to intimidate and threaten, corruptly persuade victim six by threatening to harm victim six's family. Oh, hmm. That's a little scary. A little freaky. Almost like people you don't want to have around your house riding up. Michael's giving him the gate code to scare you. Yeah, a little, a little scary also. Um, if Merle had turned this in in 2012, maybe on November 26, when Michael folks sexually assaulted victim six. During the assault, when Michael folks threatened to harm six and this is family. Um, so that's what they do. They act along violent and horrific ways and they threaten people. And so, yeah, Zoe has trauma of sex, and Zoe has trauma that her father thinks it's a great idea to give his sponsee, you know, Michael Blake's money. And then let's get into Michael's deposition, because it's actually, it's ironic that 2012, we've got uh, Michael again. Okay, there is some interesting things about him collecting bags of cash, which I, I find very interesting. Let's see. Have you ever seen this before? I don't remember. Oh, it's a spousal support. Yeah, it's be yeah, whopping 969. Thank you. Back then I did. Okay. How many months? Uh, I don't remember. Well, I do. I think you paid me, what, three months of support? And then you did all this crap? Well, why? Because I paid um, the obligation when you believed you were no longer paying support. When she kidnapped my daughter, um, we ran on a vacation to London for the vacation. That's not kidnapped, remember? You freak. If I kidnapped Zoe, I wouldn't be making this video in New York. I'd be with Zoe somewhere. Maybe kidnapping her would have been a good thing. Let's see. By my income, are you referring to? I'm referring to money that I received to live on. From what source? From all sources. Can you be more specific? My trust income. Oh, my trust income. I receive from my inheritance, from my investments, and my money with from my inheritance. Oh, and what did you inherit? I inherited interest in two buildings in Manhattan. Oh, a movie theater also. Wow, in Oroville. Hmm. This is where it gets interesting because we always have to... Billy wants to be so important. He is actually in this deposition because it gets into all the 10 West 33rd because we know that... We know that Merle already knows the truth because he has a deposition of Mr. Mirror. So he's just getting him to lie more and more, which is... Wonderful. Apparently, Thomas Kleinberger supports liars that racketeer with the Hells Angels and sexually assault children. I mean, 
ain't that loyalty, huh? Real nice of you, eh? Let's see. Oh, looking at this, it shows the bottom withdrawals. Huh. Yeah, all the missing money, right? Feinberger. Stuff you know about mirror, you keep secret. Sickos. All right. Did you turn any over, Matt? Well, the bankruptcy trustee had it. Hmm. I don't know where it went. Well, maybe you should ask Mr. Mirror on the wall. He's in New York, hmm? Um, or, let's see, I think Thomas Kleinberg knows exactly where it went. It went went anywhere but Shannon. Did you pay any amount to Shannon? I believe I did. No, your belief is incorrect. Let's see, do you recall you turned over the capital account balances? No. When the judge is known to make an effort to contact, comply with the order? Absolutely. You did? Hmm, I don't recall. I like Joel Mirror's call. Oh, no. Here we go. Here's the next page. Isn't that interesting? It was a man. Was it Joel Mirror? It could have been. I think it would have been. Isn't that the man who's holding my money hostage? I'm, I apparently kidnapped my daughter who is free from her. Well, she's suffering terrible pain emotionally. And thank you, Mr. Mirror, for giving the criminals money. Isn't that lovely of you? Are you familiar with the entity Adams and Company? Yes. Oh, are you aware that Adams serves as a property manager? Did we not cover like the Penless partnerships that I looked at all the time for years in the millions? Okay. Did you ever direct Adams to pay distributions to you? Yes. Did you ever direct the entity Tenmas 33rd itself to withhold distribution from you? No. I think the deposition of Mr. Muir actually contradicts that, but that's all right. Here's my favorite part. Do you have any ownership in Adams and Company real estate? Um, uh, I don't believe so. Michael doesn't believe so. I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't know. Oh, well, you know. You know who would know if you have any interest in Adams and Company? Isn't that interesting? Mm, I'm in New York. We could just ask Mr. Muir in a court of law, or Mr. Perlman could answer. Hmm, how about that? Okay, yes. Yeah, let's see. I, I don't understand. Oh, I understand the question. I, I don't, I own, I have a percentage. Um, uh, he can't, he can't fight his own. He doesn't know, oh no, oh no. Yeah, for those two buildings, I'm asking. You have an ownership interest in Adams. Adams. I do not. Okay. Do we believe Michael Falk? Probably not, but apparently he says no. This is where it gets very interesting. Okay. Let's see. Do you own any other real property interests in states other than New York and California? Yes. Okay. Where's that? Oregon. No. Well, I guess that. Is why Brian Whitley help out, right? An address? I, I, I cannot. Um, is there a common reference that's used? There would be Five Pine Resort Lodge and Mackenzie Meadows Subdivision. Now, excuse me, that is all ten things commingled, doing bad things with money, going into organized crime. I don't trust it. An interest? These interests, Shannon, they have separate property prior to the transmutation? Um, well, they may have been. Well, we show them listed as 21 million, but I guess if Brian can get out of that by assisting John Perlman, they cooperate, yeah. Yeah, but here's the funny one, because here we go with the fall thing again. Let's see. Um... General Real Estate Partnership for the Entity of Orville Associates. Um, it identifies Michael F-A-U-L-K. F-A-U-L-K. Funny. Where have I seen that name is spelled like that before? Didn't I? This is, this is the part where how does a general counsel in New York City who commits an act of identity theft by providing me a false damn 
Motorized thing from Georgia. Miss it. How do you possibly miss it over and over again when I say to you I don't sign things and they get, where in the hell is it? I've got to find that thing somewhere. It's getting here. Because this one was like my favorite because I apparently didn't get a divorce, but, or settled federal order. It's got the last name F A U L K on it. Where the heck is it? Well, I mean, you may have to find that in a minute. Well, let's get back to Michael and his, how he gets his cash. Um, because I think we can, I think I've already shown that to Mr. Kleinberger. He's well aware. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's tax year of verbal association. All this stuff that Merle could just use and use to get himself some money in New York, and you paid him three times. You paid him three times, and you rewarded Merle Myers for being a schemer. Well, while somebody was actually murdered, murdered in a Hells Angels scheme in 2016, which had you done the right thing. Had you done the right thing and gotten the accountings from these things, there might have not been a murder. And actually, it wasn't the murder that bothered me so much. It was that he was raping the person's girlfriend the entire time. It was awful. Ugh. All right. Well, let's see. Now I'll represent you, Mr. Buck. These documents are turned over to him and E. Hoffman. And there's property located in Hillsburg. Yes, of course there's like vineyard property. If you're 23, you inherit a bunch of money from daddy and you go to California, doesn't everyone have money to buy 83 acres in freaking Hillsburg? If you're Michael Falk and you got New York money and you got holding companies and they're a lender, surely you do. Okay, now we get into this. We wanted to get into the community property in California. That's a whole other issue. Didn't we, didn't we say that you have problems with all your issues uh, here, the commingling's. Let's see. The subpoenas. He did subpoena these people. Well, subpoenaed everybody, including our groomsmen, which was hysterical. Let's see. I would add uh, they were in private judging at the time. Okay. Yeah, we, we saw how the private judge worked on that, where he got himself a little extra. This is like, um, seriously, if somebody knows anything about racketeering, civil racketeering or RICO, tell me because I believe this is like, if it's all connected and there is money that got commingled and some of that commingled money from New York wandered its way from Florida into the community property. The one that's got the bullets. One has got some, uh, where, where's the New York, New York partnership? Isn't the commingling of the money like that a little bit like, you're all kind of like that. Money's dirty. I always thought it was dirty. Actually, I got Gertie's will. Went and talked to the medical examiner in Broward. He just said, the will you're holding, blood money. Don't I know it. Let's, but let's get back to my whole news wondrous ways he gets money because he yeah he gets money from Oregon we understand now he's earning property in Five Pine Lodge and things like this let's see yeah let's see does that look familiar let's see oh yeah that's more money out me in California that's all right Mr. Spielman best man at our wedding which is fine there is one part that is funny though. I've got to find it where it's got Michael. Let's see. Anyone can read through these. You can slow down on them. They're very, they're very wondrous, but um Okay, Michael it's not Michael Spellman, it's Spielman. Just like my father has a stupid foundation, so do we. It's drug abuse alternative center. I mean, Michael is a cocaine trafficker. What else is better to do but to start a foundation for the prevention of drug abuse in Sonoma County? If you aren't the biggest drug dealer in Sonoma County, with cocaine, you need to be less drug abuse. I, I don't know. Just a wild idea. <laughs> okay. Let's see. These exhibits. Oh, no. Which banks? Yeah. Let's see. 
the Tracy property. He always received himself some money from that. Let's see, gosh darn. I'll have to find the one. Let's see. Oh, well, he was actually deposing our groomsman. And it was the one time Michael, Michael cried and apologized because, um, yeah, he was, I would use anybody, including a very good man, Lawrence J. Steffler. Let's see, good afternoon. And the pending one, da da da. Have you ever? I don't think so. This poor man. Um, he was on Happy Valley. Let's see, um, did you write the memo? In other words, were you holding money for Michael? No, he wasn't. He's a good person. He got tricked by Michael Fall. Yike. Let's see. What's your sister's name? Suzanne Schwartz. That's the other woman that Michael destroyed, right? In California? 7172. She lives in New York. Colorado now. Well, maybe you should go hang out there, Michael. Colorado. You know Shannon Falk? Of course. I was at the wedding. I was in the party. I consider Shannon a very good friend of mine. Would you consider yourself a better friend to Shannon or Michael Falk? Well... I knew Michael much longer than I knew Shannon, but when the marriage started to disintegrate, I pretty much said, I don't take sides. You're both doing horrible things to the children. Um, no. One person was doing horrible things to the child. One was trying to stop it. Let's see. And do you recall the disassociation? Well, this is interesting. Um, about 10 years ago. So do you recall when they... Not really. I was kept in the dark. Didn't even know he Michael was in a bankruptcy case. Oh my goodness. Let's see. You recall Michael and Shannon and Mary when you made these loans. Poor Larry Stetler. Getting dragged into a deposition with Merle Myers. Got a pill for him. Let's see. How do you know? He said he needed it a couple thousand dollars. For his children. Oh, because Michael was broke. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, right. He was, he was just so broke. He, he just needed it. He, he didn't know what to do. Let's see. Did you get any checks? No. Unsecured loans? No. It's a decent fall. Nice if he uh, knew the truth, huh? Let's see. Wire transfer for financial. Uh, Michael Falk, did he ever tell you he paid anything? Nope. Do you recall ever speaking with a gentleman named William Doty? No, because William Doty took the money. So despicable. He used his own friend, a groomsman. And the guy from the foundation, Michael Spellman, he'd actually do that. That's the, that's the thing he did. It's really, it's really very, very sad. Um, let's see. I wanted to see the part where Michael cried. He was apologizing, apparently, to, to his friend. He'll apologize. He feels awful. He put his friend in this horrible position of having to be deposed. Let's see, where was it? I felt, felt actually very passionate towards Lawrence J. Steckler. But... I have no compassion for the people that continue to lie in New York, lie in Oregon, lie, lie, lie everywhere to protect somebody that clearly will use his own friend. I mean, his own friend from New York who doesn't want to go along with this scheme. Mm, this was his first scheme. That was his business number. Uh, let's see, I was going to see. There was, let's see. Let's go. Did you write now? Mm -hmm. There was this uh, sad moment. Hmm. What was that part? weeks ago. Hmm. 
Yeah. I have to look up Suzanne Schwartz. Mm hmm. Very, very, very sad. Yeah. Particularly when Larry Steckler doesn't know the things that Michael Falk did to his daughter. Didn't we go over this? Kissing her goodnight, sitting on her, holding her like a bowling ball. This is the worst one. He asked if he could put hemorrhoid cream on her. Yeah, inside her. That's Michael Falk. And what does Bill Willits do? What does Bill Willits do in 2008? Well, he's got money to lose. So Billy Cakes is going to be interviewed, and Billy Cakes is going to say, it's all the daughter's fault, right? That's Zoe. That's my daughter. You don't hurt children. Whether they're artistic, whether they're artistic, whether they're intrinsic, extrinsic, you do not hurt children, period. So I just wanted to shout out, though, if anyone knows a dang thing about mortgage fraud, how this thing flips and houses go up and particularly anything about American savings banks and their connections to Wells Fargo, I would love to know actually how the ex pulled off the scheme part in California. That's always mystified me. I mean, I have the basic idea that you put the title into two people's name and then you use the person that was your lover and real estate assistant to hand you the money. And then you lie to your friend and tell him that you're broke. But yeah, so anyway. Let's go back to the tale of the changing forest, shall we? Because we've got to see the change, be the change, and that's how things change. So actually, this is more of a help me, help me, help me request video. Anyone who knows anything about particularly Investors Trust Mortgage, Harry Coffee, because it seems to be that what I am noticing with these cases, all these cases, what are the fiduciary duties um, of these people that are in front of corporations? Oh, also, my father, he was in his fury to try and get me to uh, figure things out. This was interesting. I think he paid this guy $15,000. He was on the right idea, but then, then my dad didn't need him anymore. Uh, now, assume rule for malpractice, you think? Michael Community owns everything. Michael took a note. 7,001, he owns, he owns, it's held by World Savings, it's part of a bank, a trustee, something, something. Where did it go? How did Michael Falk come to own 7,000 Mile Island Road? Hmm, let me help you. Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. Yeah, maybe, maybe the trustee of the case should watch this video because I think he knows I wasn't there on the 18th. But he's getting a little sick. And somebody did notice, like, why would your father be getting emails about your divorce? Hmm, we put a motion over something, something. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. Either fog, something, something. Oh, no. 36, 42 months. Didn't we already establish, like, in 2008, at the point when the accounting was denied that there was plenty of money to pay for every single thing. Didn't, 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 we, didn't we show that, that there were exactly sufficient funds? We did not need to drag this out, but we had a lot of December, you know, a lot of December crap we were getting through with them there. Let's see. Okay, oh, this is the mortgage file. Let's see. I hand it to the feds. What does it say in the indictment? What's the date on this? Let's see. I don't know what the date is. SunTrust, mortgage, borrower, something. Anyway, they do lock up the Hells Angels. Um, they are much kinder to the Michael... Fox and the John R. Perlmans and the fancy pants in New York, you know. You can hide behind your little carpet little boys and oh wait, and then how much did you pay for this? Oh let's see, your Bill Willis? 
Oh. Yeah. Go bowl is pays the second diverse tree of vital fall. And he pays the bankruptcy attorney of Michael Ball. Yeah. That would be it's all connected, ain't it? You know, like your your father's sort of in bed with with all these things and then in case we wanna really get into the wallets and let's just finish with him, right? Because he does have to put his address on federal document in twenty seventeen. Uh, his address, thank you. Oh no. Oh, good God. We want him to blow away. Please. No. What is Billy saying in these dates? Oh, good God. It's not about Billy. Let's see. Billy. Billy also knew about all this. Yes, yeah, my father. Of course he knew his son was a, a scheming, lying crap. Oh, and then, yeah, I think Brian Witt said I sold part of Willits. Oh, let's just remember we stick to proof evidence but well, it's here he goes shannon garcia Pollock was not allowed any income from bullets llc in 2015 or any other year i'm a member of bullets llc and shannon's father oh thank you well we, we've yeah oh hey haven't you moved since uh since you you line and got some money from pearlman oh yeah you don't live at 251 elm street anymore you moved in what 20 19, 2018, after we're getting New York money, like I always do. Yeah. Because you know what? I guess if you're in New York and you are born with a certain last name, say like, oh, Falk, and you're willing to break the law and attorneys agree and take a little money here and there, it's all right, right? Not in my book. And it's not okay. My book, ever. Ever to do these things. Nobody is above the law. Hmm. I think you have to be autistic, artistic. I think you just have to be logical. If you keep letting the people that loan the money to the dark people get away with it, and you don't put the people that are in the suits in the cuffs, this just continues on the cycle of abuse. I am here to end the cycle with evidence, facts, Anyone that, in fact, knows anything about American savings, their connections to Wells Fargo Bank, Investors Trust Mortgage, Harry Coffee, shout out, let me know how this scheme works and how they inflate their price and get the money. Because how does he end up, how does my ex end up owning 7000 Long Road, getting out all that money on 7000 Long Road, never paying myself a cent? That I would love to know. So. For all of you people that are hanging with me through the complicated, if anyone's a mortgage broker, banker, uh, lawyer, you want a really great case, um, shout out. I could I could use your help on the complex, you know, CPTSD, other than I know it's all connected to the 10 things that went in the one year. And then I know there were many other years that we wrote other trusts, but we're just concentrating on you under us where John R. Perlman shouldn't be co-signing the BS in 2011 either. Yeah, people died. Now we've got Gabe. Got, okay, the Hells Angel killed another gang member, fine. That guy's girlfriend got raped while it was happening. So, yeah, the indictment could have been done years before we've been honest, but what a concept, eh? Ah, uh, Honestly, I like nature trees. Mm, I'm drawn to the, the good stuff. So, whatever you're doing, however complicated, have you tried to stay traveling with attitude? And if you're in New York and you want to have a, a trail that's dedicated to autism, which is, I'll, they'll take you up a quick look at this. And it's really neat. It's supposed to be, um, I did talk to the woman who's founded this thing. <laughs> a good foundation <laughs> for autism where it it allows um things like service animals because if you have trauma autism anything an animal lowers your blood pressure helps with all kinds of things but these trails are so great because it gets people with autism out in nature and 
that's 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 a good solution you know that's a good solution the the solution to my problems i don't know the idea that you have to continually tell somebody over and over and over again it's the crime it's a crime it doesn't change yes it's very complicated but people with money and power absolutely abuse money and power and then they walk around we are important in man of georgia they call up don't you know who i am i don't care who you are who you are is someone who got a, a child molested signed up that's okay fraud of the hell's angels hey that's all right you learn about this in 2023 and it's still all right that's not okay so I will keep having attitude, 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 and try to, try to, try to, attitude.